Absolutely. Hey, but let's go back and talk about the pickoff, the back pick. In that case, should never happen. We're going to show you the play, and then we're going to break it down for you. But it's late in the game. You're on first base. Your first base coach is telling you stay here. You got the first baseman in front of you. you th th that should never happen. You got to know the scenarios and the situation. So that we'll talk about why that should never happen right now, me and Cam. So the first thing, when I get to first, I got to know what that guy does behind the plate, right? Well, first thing, we've already talked about it before the game has started in our little pregame meeting defensively. Hey, the catcher likes to back pick. He likes to throw. He likes his arm. So you know going into the game, hey, it's a good secondary eyes up the whole time. You're already aware. And, and, and so explain that. Secondary so eyes up. We, we okay. talk about that good secondary. I like so that. So you want to get out there early. You know you got a guy that likes to back pick. You want to get out there early. You're going to take a good look. You know he likes to pick. The first baseman's staying close. When we talk about a good secondary, good secondary eyes up, a hard step back every single time, knowing that you're ready for that back pick. So that's what we mean. And, and even if there's a catcher that likes to throw, you may not even take as big a secondary Absolutely. lead. Absolutely. You might just go like this and get back because this is a scenario where you're either going to be stealing a base or you're letting that guy at home hit. There's two out in the ninth. So that's the, the, the difference. The situation dictates that too. All right, number two. He gets on the base. I'm the first base coach. I'm going to tell you right <laughs> prior, when you get there. Prior to. Hey, this guy likes to throw. Don't get too far off the plate, Can't right? Can't get picked off you right here. You got Dave McKay, who's done this forever. One of the best in the game. So, so I'm confident that he told him, you got to pay attention. So now what's, what, what's he doing? Is, we want to roll the video again. I want to show you guys what he did on that play, if we can look back at it. All right? If we can get that going again. Watch your first base coach on this. He is not fooled. He's already pointing back. He's on the ground, begging him, get back. All right, he, so he's already done his job. But the job of the first base coach, in case there's some that don't know, is to watch that first baseman and anticipate. You notice he's looking this way when he was coaching. He's standing here. He already knows, this. I, I'm taking care of business here. Absolutely. He was already anticipating it. So I've already told you. Now, the situation comes down to what you need to do when you're reading. Yeah, and if you go back and watch that play again, you see Perdomo. He gets a good secondary, but he gets caught flat-footed. And by the time he comes up and makes that throw, it's too late. This is how that should look. That play should look like this. You get off, you get your secondary. You're going to go hop, hop, big step back. You watch Perdomo, he gets caught flat-footed. So now he has no chance at all. Watch that flat-footed, no chance whatsoever, no man's land. And now he's going back. And that's a long ride back to the hotel back on the plane, that's a long flight yeah. back to AZ. You never want to have that happen. Like you said, it's all about understanding the situation. Ninth inning, late in the game, your defense is, uh, your offense is starting to surge. You can't make that last out right here. Yeah. And like you said, Dave McKay did his job. Perdomo got caught a little bit flat-footed, and that's what happens. Now, here's the other thing, too, that's so important. We had this happen to us at some point in time, either thrown at or maybe even picked off, so that's why you got to know the situation. That just all comes with experience. I bet that doesn't happen again. Adnan, I bet you ain't getting picked off now. 